Good evening and welcome to the Capitol Theatre here in Bendigo for a very auspicious occasion, the very first Bendigo International Festival of Exploratory Music, or BIFM for short. The term exploratory is something that we really used as a marketing tool. It's, it's questioned whether it's an actual genre and it's more an attitude that we're trying to inspire in people. It, it was a fit for Bendigo in terms of a city of exploration. It's been used a couple of ways in and around world music that's no longer world music per se, but is very crossover. And I needed a kind of hook work that would get people's attention. And I thought a string quartet that goes for six hours will get people's attention. Several musicians, um, several pieces by different musicians saying, oh, this is my dream piece, I really want to do it. And I suddenly realised that that's probably a really great way to direct a festival, is to actually have people doing the work they're passionate about most. It's something that they can deliver because they want to deliver it and an audience will read it immediately. So you have a musician within the group, so it's proper chamber music, it's not actually conducted. And then you have another setting where you actually have a conductor who sits outside who is drawing their reading of the work. I mean, Maxim's an impeccable, re I think he's an impeccable conductor, he's such a big talent. But we've got him at, at ground zero and he loves being here. He was totally impressed by the standard musician. And in many ways he's a very visceral conductor and he's used to kind of being this very demonstrative beast on the stage that's in Paris, working with his ensemble Le Balcon. And I think he really loved working with Australian musicians because that's kind of what we bring as well. We bring that kind of like ferocity to, to playing as well. There, there is that thing to tap into. Having Matteo come out here and play as one of the Argonauts as well as his solo recital was really important because he got them to work with Maxime. They live, a, they live a, a quartier away from each other in Paris. They live in adjoining arrondissement, but they'd never worked together. So they worked together for the first time in Bendigo. And that alone is a huge achievement of the festival to build these links to between places like Australia and France and between Paris and Bendigo. I can't think of another venue more spectacular for a contemporary new music, exploratory music festival anywhere in the world. It's built on very, very old wealth. It is built on the gold money, but it's also the city that made Melbourne rich. It's a wealthy city in, a, in, in the truest sense of it. And what comes with that wealth is culture. People who are into early music are into new music without fail. There's such an interesting kind of connection and I think it's to do with the role and the importance of the virtuosity of the performer. And I say that as a composer. You want to fulfil the composer's um, written expectations but you also want to exceed them. As soon as there's more than one musician in a room it's all about communication and about solidarity. You don't see the six hours of, of solo practice in the rehearsal room but you need it. But people don't understand that, that actually the labour, it's not just about them having a couple of rehearsals um, together and then coming on the stage and taking, you know, and getting applauded for it. It's incredibly laborious. At least with exploratory, you can talk about the spirit of the audience as much as the players. You know, there is this thing about learning how to listen or having experiences. And what we're asking people to have is an experience. We're asking them to come exploring. We're actually asking them to think and be open. The idea that people could walk away having had the capacity to think about what it is about time, about their time and their very brief time in existence, then if it's, if it's a sanctuary and, a, and a, a place for people to reflect, then I've done my job. I, I would love them to take away that part of the experience.